Hey everyone, welcome back to Installation 00, and more specifically, welcome to the Armory. This is where all weapons from Halo Law will be featured and analysed in detail. In this episode, we look at the Mauler. Let's begin. The Type 52 pistol, or T-52, more commonly known as the Mauler, is a sidearm used by the Jurohane military forces of the Covenant during the Human Covenant War. The Mauler first saw use during the Battle of Bracken on Doisak shortly after the Jurohane's Global War. After that, it became the favoured weapon of Jurohane security forces and would not be seen by humans until the Battle of Earth. The Mauler is manufactured at the Sacred Promissory. Although the weapon is proportionally massive when wielded by a human, it is technically classed as a pistol or handgun. Generally speaking, the Mauler is a single-handed weapon, although Spartans have been witnessed dual-wielding this weapon to devastating effect. The Mauler measures 52.7cm or 20.7 inches in length, approximately 25.4cm or 10 inches in width, and approximately 45.7 centimeters or 18 inches in height when you include the bayonet attachment. The Mauler is overwhelmingly Jurohane in design, although human military experts have classified it as being more of a handheld shotgun than a handgun as it is used by the Jurohane. The magazine holds five 7.9 mm metal bolts which appear to constantly be kept at superheated temperatures before being fired. These bolts appear to fragment upon being ejected from the weapon, creating a scattershot effect reminiscent of human shotguns. Like all Jurohane weapons, the Mauler is equipped with a blade underneath it, making it a formidable melee weapon. As previously mentioned, the ammunition of the Mauler are 7.9mm metal bolts, there are five rounds to a magazine, with a total of five magazines able to be carried by the operator, totaling 25 rounds. The Mauler is semi-automatic, being able to fire all five rounds if the operator just holds down the trigger. It does this on a gas-operated basis, where the hot gases from the firing of a round is used to rotate the magazine and fire the next round. The Mauler can fire all five rounds in around 2.5 to 3 seconds, which is considered a slow firing rate, likely due to the revolver type nature of the magazine and the heavy duty mechanism. The bullet spread is also very large. It appears that the bolt of the weapon fragments shortly after firing. Whether the ammunition is designed to do this, or does this due to an imbalance between the structural integrity of the round and the detonation of the charge, is utterly unknown. While a single Mauler is not as powerful as a UNSC M90 shotgun by itself, the Mauler is still a lethal weapon up close. One shot to a light armoured or non-armoured target will result in an instant kill, causing extremely heavy soft tissue damage to the individual, and the blade on the bottom of the weapon makes it an effective melee weapon able to cleave flesh and bone away from the body, which is helped in no small part by the Mauler's impressively fast melee swing and recovery, likely due to the proportional size of the weapon. When dual wielded by a Spartan, or occasionally by Sanghili, the Mauler's power is doubled and will kill a heavily armoured or shielded target in one shot if fired at the same time at close range. Using a single Mauler against a heavily armoured or shielded target is risky, but still results in a kill if the user fires off a shot and follows up with a quick 
an aggressive melee attack. Firing two or three times in quick succession could also perhaps result in a kill. As well as having a faster reload time than a shotgun thanks to its magazine, it has a faster firing rate which is particularly useful when dual wielding. The Mauler is the only close range weapon that can be dual wielded so the user will not have to waste valuable seconds switching to another weapon. The Mauler however is far from a perfect weapon. The Mauler is generally speaking unable to inflict a one hit kill damage that the M90 shotgun and the later M45 shotguns and the Z180 scattershot are capable of unless dual wielded. The close range nature of the weapon also means that the operator has to get uncomfortably close to a target in order to secure a kill, a point which could easily backfire if the opponent is sufficiently tactical and strategic enough to notice the short range attack. Case in point, the spread of the Mauler's shell severely limits its range and any weapon that can be used outside of close range can take down a user with a Mauler. Ammunition is often rare to come by and its 5 shell magazine can be used up rather quickly. All in all, the Mauler is a very Dural Hane weapon to use, it is large, powerful and aggressive. It's fairly rugged, can operate in a wide range of environments without jamming, and is very appropriately named. Mauler implying that the rounds that the Mauler fires can maul flesh. On top of this, the large bayonet attachment can cleave flesh just as efficiently. If nothing else, this is a weapon that absolutely suits its name. Thanks for watching. Stick your comments down below, I look forward to what you have to say. Just going to shout out my patrons and YouTube members Neek the Silent Cartographer, Siphonic Storm and Todd Morrison, my Tier Zero Transcendients, Brian, Sebastian, Red Sea, Darian, Stork of the Realms, Falcon X003, Alvin, Mr. Fell, Flaming Halo, Starlight, Legions Lost, Josh, Kyle, the TG7, Cat Herder Cam, Schneidish, Leon, Ignizzle, Chris Spartan 118, and Cooper, the Holders of the Mantle, my Glorious Reclaimers, my Loyal Metarchs and all the other patrons and members that have jumped aboard to support the channel. If you like Halo lore discussed to insane levels of detail, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you're told the second a new video hits the shelves. Be sure to support us on all major social media channels, including Discord, and if you really love the channel, consider heading over to Patreon and supporting the channel over there, or jumping on as a channel member. It would mean the world to me and afford you loads of great perks and bonuses while also helping work towards some awesome stuff in the near and distant future. Take it easy, everyone and find peace in the domain.